كنا واتشين لموفي علاقة ذا جيرل واز رانينج ذا اكس ينكوش اللي ما شاك علي ذا Last year to Kenya. Y'all seen the vlog? Um, yeah, we came back. God was good. I went back to school, and guess what, y'all? Drum roll, please. Your girl graduated college. A whole like, nurse now, baby. Graduated Man. college, passed her NCLEX. Oh, sweet, I'm dealing with a nice man. God is so. And that's why I try. You know, stomach. <laughs> Azima, Azima. Azima. She's a nurse, I'm a nurse. I don't want to hear it. But the nurse, the government doesn't seem to think so. But it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna get there. We're gonna, we're gonna convince them. But yeah, like, man, graduated. And now we have two songs out. Can you believe that? And more to come. And more to come. Oh, we got some fire oh, stuff. Guys, we're so excited. We're I wish so you guys could hear us. Like, I wish you guys could be with us while yeah. we're making the music. Like, it's a whole vibe. Like, we write our own songs. Most of the time, uh, Adrian writes them. She writes, I write. Like, it's like a group thing. Team, team um, thing. Yeah, it's like literally a team thing. So, yesterday, uh, wait, what date is it? June 14th. So, yesterday, June 13th, yeah. we made like a, a banger song that we're gonna I'm so release excited soon with that, that one. That, that one is excited fire. for. That one's fire. Yeah. yeah. What do you feel about? Being an artist and putting your music out there, like oh my gosh, I yeah. did not. I, shout out to you because you started us off. I did miracle working, and it was nerve wracking. I was like, like, guys, do we have to drop my? Yeah, I didn't, didn't understand what she was going through. Like, and I was like, I didn't. And I was like, nah, let's drop it next week, guys. Let's not. Yeah, she tried to postpone it, but we're like, no, we have due dates to me. And then they didn't, they didn't think I was being legit because yeah. it was just me singing. So they were like, nah, just drop it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, wait. But what if they don't think so? Yeah! <laughs> oh, but I had to drop like something that I put my heart and like my voice into it. Ciao, I tell you, it's scary. It is. It's so scary. But I feel like you never feel like, like you did the best. The best. Like, so like, man, I could put this in there, I could put this right in there. Right now. But it's already done. If we were to redo that song, I would do it so differently. Yeah. Like, that's the crazy part. It, like, putting your work out there, it's just so vulnerable. Because I was like, that was the highest. Like that's what the most vulnerable I've been. Cause like, like, what if the people don't like it? Yeah, I was like, what if I don't get reviews? Yeah, like, like what if y'all just don't even receive so it? So much. What if people pressure? don't like, like what if it? What if y'all don't relate to it? Yeah, and it's like, man, but like, what if my voice doesn't sound good enough? What if I didn't hit the right notes? I don't know. Shout out to the people who've been doing this for a long time. Like, honestly, shout out to y'all. Cause yeah. me, honestly, I respect y'all so much. And it doesn't get easier. Even with Supazote, I was looking. I'm like. I really hope it's doing better than Miracle Working because like, you know, like every song has to be better than the one before. It's like, oh my god! 
Exactly. Like, what if they don't like this one? What yeah. about the support? Nice. nice. I, from Morocco working, especially with that one, I didn't, I, I didn't expect, we didn't expect it to in. go You know, Sifazate was like, okay, we've Sifazate done something. Was, yeah, Sifazate was like, okay, we've done something, so but they know They know us. us, yeah. But then the first one, it was like, that was like, oh my god, I, I was like, oh the my love, god. The love that you guys showed us. And uh, then people started reposting on Instagram, I was like, <gasps> and like, it's just been a whole different vibe. Like yeah. we get so many testimonies. Like people will be like, "Yo, like Esther, I'm going through this and this and this and this." And I'm like, "Yo, babe, if God did it for me, then He can do it for you." And like that, that has been like apart from like people appreciating our songs and our work and reposting and everything. Yeah. Oh God, which shout out to you guys who do that every single shout time. Shout out to Rachel. Ah, the two two Rachels. <laughs> And also and like and it's ministering to yeah. them. It's not just another song, you know what I mean? And also like people who like post that post our songs on like their Facebooks and stuff. Yeah. Shout out to Yan Pish. Like that's my friend. Oh my gosh, like I appreciate Shout you. Shout out to Kina Naomi, Kina, Kina Derek, oh Kina Gifted Grace. Oh so many people oh like we can't we, we have a whole list. We can't mention everybody, everybody but, like, but just you guys know, love you. Iraqi flag. Oh, oh my man, goodness, man, that made it a lot. Thank you guys so so much. Okay, there's no words. What do you think? How have you changed as a person since oh, you gosh. became? Not okay. I don't want to say become an artist because you've been an artist. Yeah. And you just since you unleashed your music. Since yeah. You, yeah. I feel like there's a, now a higher level of accountability. Like that part. Esther that cannot part. do. This and this and this. Okay, first of all, I've been a, an ambassador of Christ, and yeah. people have always known my stand. Mm -hmm. But now, since now I'm in like the public, and I'm I I I, I represent Christ even yeah. more. And there's a there's an expectation not from people but from God. Exactly. Not from people but yeah. from God, and that's the expectation that I'm trying to meet. Yeah. Like a higher level of accountability yeah, for yeah. me, like with what I do, what how I conduct myself, and how I live my life. Not yeah. to say that I live my life based off of people, but based off of the standard of God. Yeah. And I feel like just me going out publicly and just singing and unleashing up and releasing our music mm -hmm. has just like been like Esther. Like God is calling you to a higher level of even holiness and purity and intimacy mm -hmm. with Him because I don't want to just deliver anything to you guys yeah, because, i want to yeah, deliver exactly. the heartbeat of god like when you hear that song you if like, you're going through depression yeah. i want you to be like you know what god is still good yeah if you're sick i want you to experience healing i'm not here to just sing another song exactly i'm Absolutely. here to minister to your soul and to your heart yeah and that's been the biggest one for me what about you and i feel like like just just to add on to what you're saying like you can't give people what you haven't like what you haven't experienced for yourself. Just I can't just let it right. Like I can't give you uh, intimacy with God if I haven't experienced it. The kind of songs we we are we're working on writing is like songs that talk about who God is mm -hmm. and what he he like literally what he is. Who you he, know what I mean? Who, who he, he is. It's worship. Worship is who God is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like telling people who God is. To you, mm -hmm. I can't tell you, Esther. God is a miracle. Like I could not have told you, God is a miracle working. God, if, it's just, if I've never seen a miracle, I can't give you anything that I. Ha I can't give you a God that I haven't experienced for myself. I can't give you a savior if I'm not saved. When Moses asked God, God, who do I tell them you are? Mm -hmm. And God said, I am who I am. And I, I, it's just, a, it's like an open check. If you want a savior, you write savior, and He mm. gives you a savior. But the thing is, you can't. You can't give people, you can't tell people he's a savior if you haven't experienced him being a savior to you. And I have to like, and Job said, and let me tell you guys, this was the realest part of my life when when the scripture became so real to me that says that I've been hearing about you, God. But exactly. now I don't I just you. hear you, I, I know you. you. Yeah. And like for us, it's come to the point where, whereby we present to you a God that we know. And it doesn't mean that we're perfect, baby. We are, Honey, we are, we are, we're fixing struggling. ourselves, little by little. But it just means that we have, like, we're dedicating ourselves to knowing God more and finding out who He is. 
through his word, through our music, and telling people who he is through his word, through our music, through practically how we live our lives. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, what has been your biggest, what has been the biggest struggle uh, in terms of like music wise and just incorporating that part like of now being like a official artist and being great? I feel like, um, okay, for an example, like I'm not a, a texter or a caller. Or a caller. I'm a don't disturber. I put my phone on don't disturb and I call it a day. Unless you're my family, you're put on favorites. And other than that, I don't pick up calls. Like, I'm very much isolated. You know what I like? I don't like conversation with people that I don't know. You know, like, like not I don't like it, but it's just, it's, it's very hard. It's out of my comfort zone. Yeah. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I guess I could, I, I think I could say I'm an introvert. <laughs> <laughs> not to her. Not to her. To everybody else. She's talking my ears I off. Talk, I, bro, she, yeah, but I think I could say I'm an introvert to people. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's very hard for me to like respond to messages. Like I respond to a message three days later. I'm like, girl, I'm so sorry. Like I know you see me posting, but but it's like, it's, it's but I'm personal. trying. I'm trying. It's really not personal. I'm just a terrible communicator. Terrible texter. Terrible caller. Like I will literally not call you back. I'm working on it though. Working on it. But also another thing that's hard is because of school, mm -hmm. like having to find out, like having to put uh, time for God, time for school, time for writing music, and time for prayer. Mm -hmm. You have to incorporate, mind you, those is just me, and then you have to incorporate that as a family, so I have to make time for that too. And it's just hard, like, especially in eh, Monday with school, man, eh. but you know, you just have to... Do you know guys you know why I was I was missing in action for, I would be I would go like yeah. missing in action it's, for months. It's a lot. It's because it's a lot. For and that, it's a lot of having yeah. to reach out to people. people. But like I had one of my friends, it's an artist as well, an artist in Kenya, and I was like, Oh my god, how do you advertise your music? And they actually gave me numbers, forty nine contacts of DJs and T V stations and all of that. Like it's people who are just willing to help, it's hard to find people who are willing oh, to help. Gosh, like I when I tell you, I've texted people, and it's like they won't. They will. They will they're they, not ready to be used ready to by be Jesus used to help you. And it's like it's okay. And it's okay. I it's understand. Okay. We totally understand. It. It. You know, it's not. You know, like you. God is gonna use somebody. Yeah, else, and, and it's okay. okay. And it's okay. It's not like I'm pressed or anything like that. It's okay. It's just. It's just. It's just. Um, overwhelming and it feels so good when you find somebody who's actually willing to help you yeah and it just feels so nice so I just wanted to shout out that artist uh, thank you so much and oh my gosh like there's so many artists in Kenya who've helped us yeah like people have given us advice oh but man like there's so many artists who've like reached out to us they like with Even advice like, and like, like advice on, like Hewane Records they yeah. actually gave us advice and it's just I love people who are willing to help like it's God. overwhelming. God bless y'all. It's overwhelming because you yeah. get a lot of no's. You get yeah. You also get a lot you get of a you, lot of no's. You get good yeses and you're like, thank you Jesus. Yeah. Like, cause it's, it's wow. A little, it's, a, it's not fresh. It's just it breaks. It, it's it breaks a your heart sometimes. It breaks your heart when you try to ask somebody for help and it's like okay, I, like this is free information you could I be giving me. I guess we're not gonna help each other and that's but okay. you're choosing to withhold and that's so, okay. <laughs> I just have to respect okay. you. You don't have to respect that and it's okay. Yeah. You don't have to help me. I get that. Um, it's just overwhelming when you get a lot of no's and then you finally get that yes and it's yeah. like <laughs> I wanna cry God like I could hug you right now yeah thank you so much for all the support thank you so much for all the love and I just wanna shout out my mom and dad those people man like, I remember the first day of America working God I was so nervous I told my dad dad can we please pray <laughs> and he was about to go to sleep and if you know my dad was asleep man but like he actually said, he was like, guys, now nah, let's pray, let's pray. And then they have always been here for every launch. Like, every time the song is dropping, they're either texting us or they they, they send these songs to group chats, to Kenyan group chats. Shout out to them, man. Y'all are the real ones. But we I'm put a business number. number. Actually, yeah, I was going to say that. We'll, we'll, we'll put our business number down here. So if you guys want us to come to your church, maybe for a conference or maybe for an event, or you wanna, you know, just reach out to us. And just we'll put the number there or in our email. So if and actually the number has a WhatsApp too, so you can use that as well. Um, 
yeah I'm there and thank you so much guys thank you thank you thank you so much for subscribing for liking for sharing for even commenting man like the amount of oh my god young peach i literally love you <laughs> bro i will put That's the comment in the book right here I was cracking up. Like, I was like, bro. I literally said it. If you're you all over here, so. Uh, who, she, she, it was like a thing on Instagram. It was like tag people who you know are doing, are working hard, and something like that. Uh, and she what's tagged me. Name? What's in Wendy? Uh, like, I, I saw, bro. I had just woke I was woken up, and I just woke up in the morning. And I saw it. And that. I saw it. And. Uh, like, guys, you know, like. When you do little things, they're little things that people like, do. They just, don't know who you're attaching. Yeah. Like, like you don't like guys. Never or like get when tired my friends, of doing good. Like when, like when mm -hmm. I post something and my friends text me, they're like, "I love your voice" or "I love this." And I'm like, shout out to Dennis, man. I'm anyway, great. Shout out to you, man. Like just little tiny things. Really, let us know what you want to see from us more, other than music, because music is coming. So let us know what else you want to see. Mm -hmm. Um. And our business number will be down there in our email too. So if you want to reach out to us, reach out to us like that. We're here And for that'll be all for today. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.